Good morning. It's Tuesday morning, and today we're going to read Acts chapter 3, verses 1 through 10. Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour, and a man lame from birth was being carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple that is called the Beautiful Gate, to ask alms of those entering the temple. Seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked to receive alms. And Peter directed his gaze at him, as did John, and said, Look at us. And he fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have no silver and gold, but what I do have I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up. And immediately his feet and ankles were made strong, and leaping up he stood and began to walk and entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God, and recognized him as the one who sat at the beautiful gate of the temple asking for alms, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. There's a scene in, in a movie, I, th I think it's from, um, I'm pretty sure it's from the movie Life of Brian. It's one of the uh, Monty Python movies. And they're walking along, you know, and, and this guy's asking for money, and, and, and they get tired of him, and he keeps following them and saying, oh, I want money, I want money. And they finally turn around and heal him. Then he's, five seconds later, he's behind them again screaming that they've taken away his livelihood and he wants them to make him lame again so that he can sit and beg. It's really funny. Um, a lot of the scenes in that movie are actually really funny. Well, um, that didn't happen here. The, um, they, they heal this man and they say, we don't have gold and silver to give you. We... What we do have, we will give you, and they say, be healed. Um, so sometimes, you know, there's the presentation problem. Somebody comes in and says, well, I need $100 because i got to pay this bill. Okay, well, we'll pay the bill, but let's ask the real question. What, how did you get in this position where you didn't have enough money to pay the bill? Well, you know, uh, I spent it all on lottery tickets or, you know, booze or something. Well, see, now there's the real issue. we got to deal with that problem, and then you won't have the shortages anymore. Okay, so let's deal with that. How do we deal with that? Well, you know. So they ask this guy, I mean, he wants money so that he can buy supper. Yeah, we get that. But what he really needs is to be able to walk because then he could fend for himself and he could work and he could be a productive member of society. Um, and, and so they say, well, we don't have money for you, but here we, here's what we've got. And they take his hand and stand him up. It's interesting that he, he walks and leaps almost immediately. And, you know, he, he doesn't know how to walk. He's, he's been lame from birth, so he's never walked. Um, it takes babies a while to learn to walk, and that's with, you know, good, strong legs. And walking is is harder than you think. Walking is kind of like you f you're falling, and then you put your foot out and catch yourself, and it becomes instinctive. We don't even realize we're doing it, but if our foot never gets out there to catch us, then we're going to fall over on our face. So walking is a skill that we have to learn, and this guy just knows. Just he just instinctively he can walk. So um, I think that's a part of this miracle of healing that's done. There's going to be a great deal more to this story, which we'll go over in the next few days or a week or so, um, because Peter and John are going to have to explain what they've done, and then they're going to have to go to the temple to the temple to the council and explain to them what they've done, and then they're going to have a conflict with the, with the leadership. So um, it ain't over yet. But imagine then that, 
you know, whatever your problem is that you're, you know, you're sort of sitting by the gate asking people for change. Okay, what's the real problem? What what do you really need healed? And let's pray about that today. And have a great, have a great, wonderful day. And um, we'll do more of this tomorrow. See you then.